how to predict products of chemical reactions well consider the first type reactions which we call complete combustion reactions these reactions are carried in the presence of excess of oxygen for example these reactions are ethane react with oxygen gas now we will always get two products the one is carbon dioxide gas and the another is water h2o thus remember that in case of combustion reactions we will always get carbon dioxide gas and water as products now consider these two combustion reactions can you guess the products of these reactions well it is super easy butene react with oxygen gas to form carbon dioxide gas plus water similarly ethanol react with oxygen gas to form carbon dioxide gas and water remember that i am not balancing these reactions because the video will become very long therefore in case of complete combustion reactions if organic compounds react with the excess of oxygen gas we will always get carbon dioxide gas plus water now the second type is incomplete combustion reactions these reactions are carried out in the presence of lack of oxygen for example consider the previous reactions in case of incomplete combustion reactions carbon monoxide gas and water is formed hence ethane react with oxygen gas to form carbon monoxide plus water butene react with oxygen gas to form carbon monoxide plus water and ethanol react with oxygen gas to form carbon monoxide plus water thus note down all these examples now the third type is combination reactions the word combination reminds us that a plus b reactants combine together to form only one product for example hydrogen gas plus oxygen gas combine together to form water similarly hydrogen gas plus nitrogen gas combine together and we get ammonia nh3 thirdly magnesium plus oxygen gas combine together to form magnesium oxide similarly any element like sodium calcium potassium will combine with oxygen to form sodium oxide potassium oxide calcium oxide fourthly sodium plus chlorine gas combine together to form sodium chloride fifthly carbon plus oxygen combine together to form carbon dioxide gas sixthly magnesium oxide plus carbon dioxide gas combine together to form magnesium carbonate hence we learn the products of some important reactions like formation of oxides when magnesium plus oxygen react together they form oxide secondly we learn the formation of carbonates like magnesium carbonate thus note down all these important examples now the fourth type is decomposition reactions in such type of reactions we heat the product a and it breaks down into b for example consider silver bromide when we heat it it decomposes into silver and bromine secondly consider calcium carbonate when we heat it it decomposes into calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide gas remember that carbonates always decompose into carbon dioxide gas thirdly consider magnesium hydroxide it decomposes into magnesium oxide plus water remember that hydroxide like magnesium hydroxide always produces water and decomposition reactions lastly consider zinc carbonate pause the video and try to predict its products well it is a carbonate we have already learned that it decomposes into zinc oxide plus carbon dioxide gas thus remember all these decomposition reactions the fifth type is displacement reactions in such type of reactions let consider a plus b c reactants now the reactant a will displace or kick out the b we will get 
AC plus B. That's why we call it displacement reactions. For example, consider potassium plus water. Remember that when an element like potassium, sodium, magnesium, calcium react with water, they always displaces hydrogen gas from it. We get potassium hydroxide. Similarly, we get sodium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, etc. Secondly, consider zinc plus HCl. Here, zinc is electropositive and chlorine is electronegative. Hence, zinc react with chlorine. We get zinc chloride plus hydrogen gas. Thirdly, consider aluminium plus nickel chloride. Here, aluminium will displace nickel by reacting with chlorine. We get aluminium chloride plus nickel. Fourthly, consider iron plus copper chloride. Pause the video and try to predict its product. Well, iron is positive species, chlorine is negative species. Hence, iron will react with chlorine and it will displace copper. Thus, these are the displacement reactions. Finally, let me teach you the double displacement reactions. Let's consider a general reaction. Remember that inner reacts with the inner and the outer reacts with the outer. I mean, A will react with the D and we get AD, while B will react with the C and we get BC. For example, consider sodium chloride plus silver nitrate an aqueous solution. Now outer with outer. I mean, sodium will react with nitrate. We get sodium nitrate, while inner with inner. I mean, silver will react with chlorine to form silver chloride as a precipitate. Now consider these reactions. Here, pause the video and try to predict their products. Well, it is super easy. Outer with outer, potassium react with sulfate, we get potassium sulfate. Hydrogen react with hydroxide, we get water. In this case, sodium reacts with chlorine, we get sodium chloride. Hydrogen react with carbonate, we get carbonic acid. But wait a minute. The carbonic acid decomposes to carbon dioxide gas plus water H2O. Lastly, silver reacts with chlorine. We get silver chloride. Hydrogen reacts with nitrate. We get nitric acid HNO3. Thus using this trick, we can predict the products of any chemical reaction. If you want to learn more about chemical reactions, watch our video and its link is given in the description.